Hi everyone, Josh from PH Tennis. I'm here today to talk about when is the right time to restring your tennis racket. This is probably the biggest question uh, that most club tennis players have, the question that we get asked the most in the shop. People coming in asking us, oh, do I need a restring? When should I get my racket restrung? How often should I get my racket strung? So we're just gonna go through a few points that you might wanna consider when it's the right time to do it. So, the first one, when there's no strings in your racket. That's the first kind of obvious one. Or when they break, you've got no choice, you've got to restring. Now, the first one is whenever you buy a new tennis racket. All right, whenever you buy a new tennis racket. And that can be because it comes unstrung or it will come with its factory strings, the strings that were put in when it was built, when it was made. And if you imagine the rackets would have been strung probably six to nine months before they end up on the shelf. They'd have been in a container, they'd have been in a container ship, going through all different climates, all different temperatures, stored in warehouses, and then delivered to us. So the strings would have gone up and down, and so not, even when they were done in the factory, they wouldn't have been brilliant. By the time they've gone through that whole journey, they're definitely going to have lost their kind of elasticity um, and lost their tension. And if you're investing in a new racket, it's always worth putting a fresh set of strings in it as well. Now, if you've demoed a racket, which will have good fresh strings in it, it's definitely worth restringing a new one if you want it to play anywhere near the same. The strings make up about 50% of the racket's effectiveness. So if you want to match a demo, you're going to have to restring that new racket. Now, the old adage that you would have heard a hundred times before, however many times you play in a week is how many times you should string your racket a year. Now, whilst that is okay advice, there's a couple of little things to add a bit more detail. It should be how many hours per week is how many times per year, up to a point. So if you're only playing once a week, people say, oh, I string my racket once a year, but you're probably playing for a couple of hours. And so that should definitely be twice a year, every six months as a minimum. If you're playing a couple of times a week, probably three or four hours, you're looking three or four times a year, every three or four months. Sounds about right as well. Once you're playing three plus times a week, that adage kind of doesn't really help you anymore because it's more about your playing level, your playing style, and actually feeling when the racket needs restringing. So let's talk about that a bit more. Now, a pound of tension, if we talk about pounds of tension, how tight the strings are, each pound is equivalent to about a foot of length on your shot. So if you played a perfect flat shot with the ball exactly right, exactly stable, and you reduced your racket tension by a pound and exactly the same shot, the ball would go a foot further. So you may well have experienced it when you're playing that, God, the ball just keeps flying out today. It keeps going that little bit too far. There's not necessarily anything wrong with what you're doing or your technique. You may just need a restring. So if you're losing that bit of control, the ball's just flying a little bit longer than you're used to, time for a restring. This is where it gets a little bit complicated because when the strings uh, have been in for a while, they do two things. Firstly, their tension goes down, which as we've just said, loses some control, the ball goes further. But if you play with a lot of topspin, you generate more spin, which gives you more control. So there's a little bit of a trade-off here, depending on your style of play, to how that loss of tension will actually affect you. And then more interestingly is the strings themselves lose elasticity. They lose their playability. They go dead. And especially if you have a polyester string, a monofilament string, that happens in about six weeks. The strings lose their kind of best features at six weeks. And that's where if you're competing and you're playing regularly and you're taking this more seriously, if you've got a polyester string, whether it's broken or not, whether it's lost a lot of tension or not, every six weeks is when you're gonna to want to restring to keep that level of performance. Now, my final bit of advice is a bit more of a mental one. We've all gone, whenever we're playing tennis, through weeks, through months, we're, we go into form, we come out of form, we have good days, we have bad days, and sometimes you're just in bad form and nothing's really working for you. And a quick freshen up of your strings is a great, easy way to get out of a rut. It can really change a load of the racket's effectiveness. And it can just mentally change. You can change your whole type of string. You go to a hybrid, go to a, a lower tension, a higher tension, and it'll feel enough different that it might just snap you out of that rut and get you back playing the tennis that you want to play. So, there you go. There's a whole range of information in there about when to restring your racket. If you're only playing a few times a week, then you might look at the amount of hours you're playing for how many times a year. 
if you're playing more regularly, start to feel about how you're playing and what's happening when you're playing. Are you losing control? Are you losing feel? And obviously the final one, when you break those strings, you've got to get new ones.